time for a little Thursday evening business mob story season three. I think we should be starting season four. I don't know. Don't forget, Mob Stories is brought to you by Ruckus Radio Podcast, home of Mob Stories and Waking Up at Ruckus. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 to 11, 15, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get the alert. Let's get right into business. It's another disgraciado of a story. Salute to my man, Jimmy. What's going on, buddy? Salute to my man, Mr. Fagazi. Gambino Wise Guy gets 40 years for killing elderly Brooklyn mob pal over $750,000. Written by John Anisi. Salute to you, John. We'll have the link in the description box so you can go right to his article. A reputed Gambino associate who killed his elderly mobster pal, a disgraciate, after stealing three quarters of a million dollars in loan sharking cash, will spend the next 40 years behind bars. Judge Margot Brody handed down the sentence to Anthony Pandrella, 63, on Wednesday, but not before the wise guy had to face the victim's devastated son and daughter one more time. Quote, he doesn't deserve another day out of prison, unquote. Seeded victim Vincent Zito's son, Joseph. I hope you live a long time behind bars. Listen to what he said. I hope you live a long time behind bars. Suffer. Pandrella was close to the 70-year-old victim's family. Zito referred to him as his right-hand man, and the family saw Pandrella as an uncle, someone who came to their house most days and who promised to take care of the family if anything ever happened to their father. They never thought that Pandrella would shoot Zito on October 26, 2018, leaving the victim's body in his family's Sheephead Bay home where the 11-year-old grandson would find it. The killing stemmed from a fight over stolen cash. Pendrella agreed to hold Pendrella agreed to hold on to seven hundred and fifty thousand from Zito's loan shark business because Zito was worried he was under investigation. But when Zito asked for the money back, Pendrella said that somebody took it from his basement. Now here's a lot of mistakes right here. First of all, if you're gonna give somebody seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to hold, you <laughs> you better sit there and think of every fucking angle and ask yourself would this guy kill me over this fucking money? And if you would even think for a second, for a second, that this person may do you dirty, you find somebody else to give it to you, you dig a hole. I have one person in my life that if I had that much cash, I could hand it over to with no problem. It's none of your business. I hope everybody that listens to this show has somebody that they could trust like that in their life. And believe me, ain't nobody that's listening to this podcast has hundreds. You're lucky if you have one. Enraged, Zito threatened to kill Pandrella over dinner at Batista, a restaurant in Brooklyn, just weeks before the slaying, so Pandrella acted first, then sat with the grief-stricken family the night of the murder. Pandrella was convicted at trial in June. All for greed, the defendant ruthlessly executed his longtime friend after being welcomed into his home. U.S. Attorney Breon P. said, Pandrella's cold-blooded crime has cost him dearly with the loss of his freedom for decades. Zito's family has struggled to stay close without their patriarch. He was the one that brought us close. He was the walls and the glue, his daughter, Samantha Zito, told the court Wednesday. Since the killing, she had to upend her life in New Mexico and move back to her father's Brooklyn house, living under the same roof where she grew up and where he was murdered to keep the property from falling into despair. Love and energy that once filled it are gone, she said. Pandrella, who is hospitalized and uses a wheelchair and suffers from gangrene and diabetes, anything far beyond a 10-year statutory minimum is going to be a death sentence, said his lawyer, James Fracaro. Despite his failing health, prosecutors asked Judge Brody to sentence Pandrella to life behind bars, saying that the sentence would send a message about the heinous nature of his crime. Even though they were hoping Pandrella would get life, Zito's children said they were satisfied justice was done. Well, justice would have been shooting him the way they shot the father, but that would be too easy. That would be too easy for this sort of betrayal. If someone is honorable and shows you love, you are bound. You are bound by honor to reciprocate that. A lot of people out here with their hands out that don't reciprocate honor and love that they receive. You don't kill your friends, man. Ugh, it's disg- it's disgraceful. That's what it is. In essence, 40 years, 63 years old. You tell me what it is, Joseph Zito said. But just the satisfaction of hearing life, a life for a life in my mind, I agree. 
First of all, great article. Salute to you, John Anisi. Another disgraciad. You know, there's more articles coming out about the Zatola hit. Son executed his father to take the Bronx Empire away. I got a couple of new articles coming out on that about how a hitman who tried to kill the father was instead murdered. Every week, more and more testimonies coming out. The rats are coming out. Uh, the people that he hired to kill his father are all snitching on him. This guy may get this guy may get the death sentence. Mob story season three, Big Rich Queens business. In fact, I forgot to tell you what I'm rolling on, and I forgot to tell you to wipe your feet on the rug. I hope you did. I'll check the cameras. I'm smoking on some Jeter diamond infused keef covered pre rolls from the Jeter company. J e e t e r. Look it up. Shit is amazing. And we will talk soon. Salute.